Welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing FaveHealthyRecipes.com how to make this savory apple baking quick bread. Now instead of using yeast, quick breads get their rise from baking powder or baking soda, which eliminates the need for the dough to rise before baking. That makes the baking process a whole lot quicker, ergo the name quick bread. And in this flavor packed version, a little baking goes a long way. The end result is a bread with a hint of sweetness from the apples and onions, and little smoky salty flecks that offset that sweetness. The finished bread is not only great on its own, it's also great in French toast or sandwiches. The list goes on and on. Alright, to make this you're going to need 4 slices of bacon diced into tiny pieces. I have an applewood smoked variety here today. 1 medium apple, 1 medium onion both peeled and diced, three eggs, one third of a cup of milk, seven ounces of low fat Greek yogurt, one half cup of olive oil, and two cups of gluten-free Bisquick. If you're not following a gluten-free diet, you can just substitute this list of ingredients. All right, now to put this together, first preheat the oven to 400 degrees and grease a nine by five inch loaf pan. Now in a medium saute pan over a medium heat, saute the bacon until it just starts to develop some color. Then drain off the excess grease and add the apples and onions to the pan. Saute for five to seven minutes or until they get a little softer and the sugars begin to caramelize. Just as they start to develop some color, remove the pan from the heat and set it aside to cool as you mix the dough. In a large bowl, whisk together the eggs, milk, yogurt, and olive oil until well combined. Add the Bisquick and using a rubber spatula or spoon, mix until you have a soft dough formed. Then stir in the apple, onion, and bacon mixture until it's evenly dispersed throughout the dough. Now empty the dough into the prepared pan and using a rubber spatula or offset spatula, smooth out the top. Now bake the bread for 50 to 55 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes before removing it from the pan onto a baking rack to cool completely. And now you're ready to slice this one up. I had the end piece with a little butter. And a few middle slices made an incredible grilled ham, cheddar, and apple. The sandwiching possibilities are unlimited with this one. However you'd like to serve it, I hope you'll give it a try. And if you'd like to see the recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for additional recipes and tips to fit in with your healthy lifestyle, visit my friends at FaveHealthyRecipes.com. See you again soon.